And a wild ride this afternoon in a story you saw live on 41 Action News. A suspect led police on a long chase, and then once he bailed out, he wasn't ready to give up. New at 6, we're learning more about the dog that helped end that all. Yeah, we have team coverage of that chase. We start first with our Lisa Benson, who is live for us right now at I-45 and winner. That's right. I'm live where this high speed chase came to an end. You can take a look and see traffic is back to normal. That was not the case just over an hour ago. Several units chased a vehicle up and down I-435 this afternoon. The chase started near 99th and James A. Reed after a mother reported being carjacked while picking up her child from an area daycare. The chase continued on 71 Highway and I-435 until the driver hit a sign which damaged the car. He was caught by a K-9 unit after jumping out of the stolen car and running into an open and field. The chase slowed traffic in the area of southbound 435 for several minutes, but the highway right now is back open. Of course, traffic is moving very smoothly, and of course, 41 Action News will continue to follow this investigation and bring you more information as we get it. I'm reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Lisa. And as we just heard, police dog Bruni is the hero in today's police chase. Team coverage continues right now with our Cynthia Newsom, who just spoke with Bruni's handler about what happened and how they prepared for an event just like today. The canine that people are talking about is named Bruni, and I must tell you, I had the pleasure of meeting Bruni this afternoon, and I want you to take a look. This is him. He is a two-and-a-half-year-old Belgian Malwa, and his partner is canine officer Jason Brunkhart. And he said that Bruni is a hero. Jason said that Bruni is trained to take down subjects. And when the carjacking suspect refused to stop running, Bruni's performance was textbook. Listen to this. And at that point, he started reaching for a gun in his waistband. As he drew the gun, I released Bruni and gave the command for Bruni to uh, engage the suspect. And Bruni took him to the ground and. Uh, Apprehended the suspect. I have to tell you, Bruni is a very playful, friendly dog, but I did not get close. I did not pet him because I know he is a trained weapon. And that's one of the things that Officer Brunhart said that he wanted people to understand. They're very proud of the canine program because it's another way of taking down a suspect without using deadly force. So they are very proud of how uh, Bruni performed here today. And Officer Brunhart said probably tonight Bruni is going to get a few extra kibbles in his bowl. But he's very happy uh, and calls his dog a hero here tonight. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.